we're given a system of nonlinear differential equations and asked to find and classify the critical points. We have x prime equals y minus y squared minus x and y prime equals negative x. Recall the critical points are where both x prime and y prime are equal to zero, given x prime equals f of x comma y and y prime equals g of x comma y. Our first step is to determine the critical points and determine if they are isolated. So analyzing the two equations, notice y prime is zero when x is zero, and when x is zero, x prime is equal to zero, when y minus y squared is zero, which occurs when y is zero or y is positive one. This indicates we have two critical points. The critical points are zero comma zero and zero comma one. There are no other ordered pairs around these two points where both x prime and y prime are zero, indicating the critical points are isolated. But let's also verify this using the corresponding vector field and phase portrait. To do this, we'll be using the online tool documented below. The first step is to enter our equations. We have x prime equals y minus y squared minus x, and y prime is equal to negative x. Let's also change the display. Let's change the window so the x and y axes go from negative two to positive two. Let's also click on the box for a variable length arrows and then click graph phase plane. If we scroll down, we see the corresponding vector field analyzing the critical points of zero comma zero and one comma zero. The vector field does seem to verify those are critical points. Recall these are the points where both x prime and y prime are equal to zero, which means at these two points, we would have a zero vector. It also seems to verify they are isolated. If we were to zoom in on these two points, there will be no other critical points near these two critical points. To make it even more obvious, let's graph some trajectories by simply clicking on points on the coordinate plane. These trajectories do seem to verify our critical points, and we could also use this to classify them. Notice how at zero comma zero, it does appear as if we have a spiral sink, and at the point zero comma zero, it does appear as if we have a saddle point. But let's verify this formally. For the next step, we determine the Jacobian matrix at the critical points. If the Jacobian is invertible, the system is almost linear at the critical points. So again, our next step is to find the Jacobian, where x prime is equal to f of x comma y, and y prime is equal to g of x comma y. So the partial of f with respect to x is the partial of y minus y squared minus x with respect to x, which is negative one. The partial of f with respect to y is the partial of y minus y squared minus x with respect to y, which is one minus two y. In the second row, we have the partial of g with respect to x, which is the partial of negative x with respect to x, which is negative one. And the partial of g with respect to y is the partial of negative x with respect to y, which is zero. This indicates the Jacobian at zero comma zero has entries negative one, one, negative one, zero. This is found by simply replacing y with zero. Notice this matrix is invertible, meaning it does have an inverse because the determinant is not zero, which indicates the system is almost linear at the critical point. Next, we determine the eigenvalues of the Jacobian. The type of eigenvalues we have will allow us to classify the critical points based upon the table below. To find the eigenvalues, we need to set up and solve the equation, the determinant of the difference of j and lambda i equals zero, which results in the determinant of this two by two matrix equals zero, where the determinant is equal to the quantity negative one minus lambda times negative lambda minus negative one, which must equal zero. And solving for lambda, we have lambda equals negative one half plus or minus i square root three divided by two. Because the eigenvalues are complex and the real part is negative, the behavior is a spiral sink and the stability is asymptotically stable. And this is at the point zero comma zero. And now we go through the same process at the point zero comma one. At the point zero comma one, the Jacobian has entries negative one, negative one, negative one, zero, which once again is invertible, indicating the system is almost linear at the point zero comma one Next, we determine the eigenvalues of the Jacobian, which end up being negative one half plus or minus square root of five divided by two. Notice here we have two real eigenvalues with opposite signs, meaning one is positive and one is negative, and therefore 
at the critical point 0 comma 1, we have a saddle point and the stability is unstable. Going back to the face portrait one last time, the face portrait does verify our results. I hope you found this helpful.